everyone, my name is Sarika Tulsiani and today in this video we are going to discuss the difference between MMS and the PGDM program. MMS which is also called as the MBA program and the PGDM program. A lot of students are really confused as to whether they should go for MMS or they should go for PGDM. There is no clarity, there is a lot of confusion because of which they are not able to make the right decision. So that is the reason we have come up with this video to give you a bit of clarity as to what is the difference and what are the similarities between MMS and PGDM. Now let's start. First of all, your MMS or the MBA degree is given by the university. So if you are studying from a Mumbai college, you will get an MMS degree which is given by the Mumbai university. If you are studying from an MBA college or if you are studying from a Pune college, so you generally get an MBA degree which is given by Pune University. So your MMS or MBA is given by the university whereas your PGDM is a college degree. Your PGDM is a college degree. It is given by the college. Okay? This is the first difference. Now what happens is because this is a university degree generally the syllabus is a bit outdated because you know that the university will not upgrade the syllabus every year. So the syllabus here is slightly outdated whereas the syllabus because this is a college degree they keep on upgrading their syllabus every year. So this is your updated or the recent syllabus. It's the updated or the recent syllabus. However, see let's say if you are planning to go for studies ahead, if you are planning to go for a PhD degree or if you are planning to go abroad to study, then there might be cases where this PGDM degree is not recognized. Some companies or universities abroad will not recognize this PGDM degree. But all of them or 90% of them do accept the MBA or the MMS degree. So if you have any such plans of settling abroad or if you want to study ahead for a PhD, it is advised that you go for an MBA degree or MMS degree ke le jao, but don't go for a PGDM degree because it might be risky. Because agar ye degree accepted nahi hai, you will have to do this degree again. So again wasting two years of, of your life is not worth it. Okay? The next difference is, your MBA or MMS process is conducted via CAP rounds. So it is conducted by DTE and it is a centralized process. It is a centralized process. This is not a centralized process. So if you want to apply for the PGDM of any college, you will have to fill the specific form of that college and then apply. Whereas here, you just have to fill your cap round details, you have to fill the colleges wherever you are interested in and you are good to go. Whatever college is allocated to you while cap round, that, will, that, will, that college will give you a MBA degree or an MMS degree. But here you have to form, fill the form individually every time. Also for PGDM, they conduct a separate GDPI. They conduct a group discussion as a, and a personal interview, whereas in MMS you don't have any GDPI. There is no GDPI at all. So a lot of students generally who are hesitant, but if you have got really great marks, it's okay and you can go for MMS. But if you've got slightly lower marks, you can definitely go for a PGDM degree. Reason being, see the cutoff of MMS is really high. If you talk about the top 10 colleges, open category, the cutoff goes above 98.5 percentile. It will go above 98.5 percentile for sure for the top 10 colleges, open category. But for the PGDM, as far as the PGDM is concerned, the top 10 colleges at least give a call to all the students above 75 to 80 percentile. Some students, some sorry, some colleges give a call above 75 percentile, some colleges give a call above 18 percentile. But if you've scored anything above 75 or 80, you definitely go for PGDM. If you've scored above 98.5 or 99, you can definitely go for an MMS degree. The fight here is too much. It's very difficult to get via MMS, but it's slightly easier to get through your PGDM degree. Now, as far as the fees is concerned, 
the fees for MMS is low compared to PGDM. For any college, if you see, the fees for PGDM is on the higher side. Because what happens is, dekho, the fees here is controlled by the DTE. It is controlled by the DTE, so they cannot charge like a very high fees. But since this is a college based program, the college can charge any amount of fees and you will always see there is a difference. The fees here is high and this is low. But a lot of students have this query as to what happens to the placements. Are the placements going to happen together or not? See, um, let's say I'm a company. I come to your campus. It does not matter whether you are from PGDM or from MMS. For me, I just need a good candidate. If you are a good candidate studying in MMS, I will take you. If you are a good candidate studying in PGDM, I'll take you. So for the placements, all the students, which is MMS and PGDM sit together. It does not matter to the company what course have you done. If you are a good candidate, you will be selected. If you are not a good candidate, you will be rejected. As simple as that. They are not concerned about the degree which you are taking. Okay, so the placements happen together. So don't worry about that. If you have scored slightly lower percentile, but if you want a very good college, definitely go for PGDM. If you scored a really high percentile and if you have plans of studying ahead or settling abroad, go for an MMS degree for sure. See, as far as the quality of education is concerned or the faculty members are concerned, there is no difference. You know, the quality of education is the same. It's slightly updated, like I told you, for PGDM as compared to MMS. And also, as far as the faculties are concerned, faculty is same hi rehte hai. It's not that ki PGDM has a separate set of faculties and MMS has a separate set of faculties. Asa nahi hota hai. Whatever teachers teach for MMS, the same teachers teach for PGDM. So there is hardly any difference. So see, basically what happens is, uh, let's say this year 1 lakh 10, 10,000 students applied for the CET exam. All of them or at least 90% of them will apply for the CAP routes. They will go for the DTE. But not everybody applies for the PGDM. So what happens is your competition for the PGDM is less compared to your MMS. And that is the reason the cutoffs here are low. Plus, if you do well in the GDPI, agar tumara score low bhi hai, but if your GDPI performance is good, there are good chances of you getting a good college. Whereas it becomes difficult via MMS. So, briefly, these are the differences between MMS and PGDM. If you have queries regarding anything else apart from this, or if you want me to make videos on certain specific topics, do mention in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, if you found it was worth it, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.